Hey, what is up, guys? Duck here, and today we're gonna be doing the tips guide on how to make a god sword. Now you can do something like uh, that. You know, see, so just uh, a nice one tap on all of these. So, yeah. All right, so first of all, what's on our sword? Uh, so, the sword that I'm currently using is an undead sword, which I'll show you how to get here in a second. Uh, which has 10 different enchants on it, and I'm gonna fill this zombie because it's gonna just hit me if I don't. Uh, it has Venomous 5, which basically is just like poison sort of thing. Uh, then there's First Strike 4, which increases your damage on your first strike, which you want because you want your first strike to kill them pretty much, ideally. Uh, looting, just for more stuff. Uh, Sharpness 5, of course. Uh, Scavenger 3, uh, which gives you a bunch of gold on kills, especially in... The, on the higher tier mobs, like in the Obsidian Mine, you can get a lot of gold from killing them. Uh, Vampirism 5 uh, heals you like for a percentage of the damage you dealt when you hit them, which is really nice to have. Uh, Experience 3 gives you like a 37% chance to get double XP on kill, which is really nice to have as well. Uh, Execute 3, I believe if you hit them low enough without killing them, that it'll kill them automatically. Uh, I don't know the exact percentages, but yeah. Giant Killer 5, uh, so basically based on your health uh, compared to the mob you're killing, you deal that much more damage. So I have 200 health with the current armor I'm wearing, so basically the mobs I'm killing usually have about another 100 health than me, so I deal a certain amount percentage more because of that. And then Lethality 5, which I'm not really sure what that does, but yeah, I have it on here. But now y'all are like wondering like, wait, how do I actually get that stuff though? So first of all, you're gonna need an undead sword, but you're gonna come spawn here and you're like, whoa, okay, th there's a lot of stuff here. What, what am I supposed to be doing here? So you run this way. Uh, there's like this little gold thing here, the bank. And then if you run back here, you will find the weaponsmith with his eye patch and one eye, you know, <laughs> say hello, my little friend. All right, so this is where you buy an undead sword. So what this is good for is it deals an increase of 100% damage to skeletons, withers, zombies, and zombie pigmen, which in the mines is generally what you're going to want to use because that's what most of the mobs are, especially in the uh, obsidian and diamond region. They're all zombies and skeletons, so that's going to help you out there. So this is a very good early game sword. There are other options, though. You can get Enderman, Ender Dragon, and Endermite from the end sword. But basically, that's only going to work on Enderman, and I already one-shot them anyways with my Undead Sword, so I don't know how necessary that's going to be, except maybe in the future to fight Ender Dragons. I could see that. Uh, then there's a Spider Sword, so you could deal 100% damage increase to Spiders, Cave Spiders, and Silverfish. That can be worth it if you're going to go in the Spider area and you don't already one-shot them with your other sword. But really, if you hadn't noticed here, the, the moral of the story is if you make a good enough God Sword from one of these, then it doesn't really matter what you're killing, you're going to one-shot it, most likely. Uh, and then there's also, like, a withered bow here. Now, there's other options for swords you can get that are even better, but they're kind of hard to get. So, one of these is going to be the Pigman Sword at Raw Pork Shop 9. And it does a base of 200 damage, with plus strength 100, and... Increased crit chance and increased crit damage with an insane item ability called Burning Souls that you form vortexes of flame, giving you resistance one and attacking nearby enemies with a projectile dealing up to 75 damage over five seconds if it lands. Okay. Uh, any <laughs> but yeah, it, that's one of the best swords of the game. Uh, and yeah. So back to our island. Uh, so if you're actually wanting the enchant, you need to get an enchanting table and bookshelves. How to get this enchanting table and bookshelves, you may ask. So, first of all, you're going to want to come to spawn. Now, to get an enchanting table, you need what? You need four obsidian, you need two diamonds, and one book. So, the obsidian you're going to find at the obsidian mine. If you don't know how to get to the obsidian mine, I can show you here in a second. Uh, this is the bank where you just deposit your coins. I don't know why I came here, but yeah, we're there. We might as well deposit our coins. So right past the bank here is the Librarian. Mr. Librarian here has one enchant table, which does not enchant things to a very high level at all. Like, literally, I believe five is the max, something like that. So now this Librarian here is going to be selling you books. So this is where you might be coming 
to uh, per se buy a book for your enchanting table. Uh, so right here, they're only 20 coins a piece, so they're not very expensive. You can also buy experience bottles for 30 coins a piece, and you can buy like tier one books uh, for about 20 to 30, maybe 40 coins for scavenger, but pretty cheap uh, purchases of tier one books. If you really want to do it that way, I don't necessarily suggest to do it that way, but you could if you really wanted to. Uh, but yeah, you can also enchant books and try to get like uh, good here. We'll just withdraw some of our money. Withdraw. Let's see. Let's just well withdraw like five hundred. Yeah. All right. Let's come back over here. Okay, so you buy some books. Now the other thing you're gonna need books for are bookshelves. Now bookshelves uh take three books per bookshelf, and you're gonna need quite a few of these bookshelves uh to make your island. As you can see here, it is not necessarily that cheap. Um, so let's say if we just wanted to put our rogue sword in there to enchant. My thing goes up to 60 levels. The maximum is 64, which I believe is just like putting like one there and one there. Uh, but really, I haven't felt the need to do that because I just don't see the point. So I haven't done that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe prove me wrong that it would actually matter if you did a level 60 versus 64. But to me, it pretty much seems the exact same. And you can what you could do when you're enchanting is... Keep putting it back in until you get the enchant you want. So, like, if I wanted Thunderlord, if I wanted Cubism 5, which makes you really strong against slimes and magnum cubes. Uh, Giant Killer 5, that's a really good enchant. It helps a lot if you don't have a ton of health. It really helps a lot. So, you will want that if you don't have a ton of health. But if you have a ton of health, it doesn't really do much. So, depends on whether you have a really good growth set or not. Uh, so, like, I have growth in my helmet, but I don't have it on the rest of my pieces, which makes it so my health isn't ridiculously high, which makes it so that my giant killer actually works. Um, but if I had growth on my other pieces, my giant killer would pretty much not work at all. Now, if once you do... Okay, so when you're enchanting, you're going to enchant and you're going to get something good, probably. Like, you're going to get... You could get exactly what you want. I would suggest your first base item to just go, like, sharpness 5 or something base like that, and then you can slowly try to get all the other enchants you need. So let's say I wanted knockback. All right, so we have a knockback sword right here, knockback two beta arthropods, execute three. So if we wanted to add knockback to our undead sword, we would come over here to our anvil, which to make an anvil, you need three blocks of iron, uh, like at the top here, and then you just need, I think like four iron at the bottom, something like that thing. <laughs> And then, all right, so now, if you wanted to combine these swords, you would put one on the left and one on the right of this anvil. So we're adding knockback to under this sword, which, by the way, do not do. You do not want knockback on your sword. That'll not be worth it at all. Please don't do that. Uh, and it would cost me 24 XP levels to combine these. Of course, I'm not going to actually do it because that would ruin my sword, but, you know... If, in the case that it would not be a ruining item, then you could combine them to do so. So let's say I wanted to enchant a book. We can enchant a book here. We don't have 60 levels, though, so what do we do? We come in here and grab our Soak Touch Axe. We can break, uh, what would we need to break, like, three, I think? Yeah, we could break three, all right. So now we're getting options for some enchants. We got Power 5, but we don't have a bow currently, so we don't really need Power 5. Respiration, Infinite Quiver 5. Um, luck five. Now, luck five is a book that I need, so we're gonna go for it. Actually, so now we got Bait of Arthropods, Luck Five, Fortune Three. So what you would do from there? Well, I can put my bookshelves back and our axe back in there. All right. So then you would want to come over here. You have your luck five book. So then you put your venomous in there. Your well, an enchant sword. And then you want to add one more enchant. You want to add luck five. So to do so, it wants 25 experience levels. So I don't actually have 25 experience levels, but per se, if I wanted to add luck five right now, I could just like so. All right, so now we're going to go over really quick how to get to the higher end mines. If you have just joined and didn't know this, like you only thought there was a coal mine, I'm sorry. 
but yes, uh, there are further mines. Uh, you do have to mine a little bit to get to them, but really not very far. Uh, like you have to get, I think it's mining level five to get to the very last one. And all you have to do is literally run straight through this way. Then we're going to a uh, little slime pad that's going to say jump to gold mine. Then you're going to load into a gold mine. You can actually come here pre really quickly, actually. Uh, so if you want to just, if, you, you, if you've already played a little bit, you probably have access to this at the very least. Uh, if you don't, I mean, if you have mining five, you 100% have access to the last one too as well. So this is going to have you iron, coal, and gold, I believe. And maybe a tiny bit of lapis. I don't think so, though. So, yeah. And then you come to the deep caverns. Deep caverns is where you're going to be spending a lot of time. A lot. A lot of time. Um, so this is where you're going to actually possibly need a good sword like this. Uh, now, you don't necessarily need it to be as good as this one because it just isn't necessary. But, yeah. So this top layer is where just some like creepers are going to spawn. They don't deal that much damage, but that's why it's called the Gunpowder Mines. Then you have the Lapis Quarry. So this Lapis Quarry is going to have these things called Lapis Zombies. These guys are pretty easy to kill, really, but that's besides the point. The point of killing them is to try to get Lapis Armor. Now, the way to get Lapis Armor easier is having this enchant called Luck 5 that we just got. It increases the chance for monsters to drop their armor by 25%, which is really good because you need their Lapis Armor. It's a very good starting set. The armor I'm wearing is Minor Armor, which you get at a further down point. But I'll show you that in a second. So anyways, you're going to want to kill these mobs. Try to get Lapis Armor like so. Uh, the chance, well, honestly, I was really lucky. I'm surprised I got that. Uh, but I will definitely take it. Uh, so there we go. We got a Lapis Armor chestplate. So now, the big men's den. So also, this guy, you can only warp to these places after you've walked down to them. But I don't really have time to show you how to do that right this second. But really, it's not that complicated. But yeah. So here's pigment. They don't drop any armor. So really, the only point of this is to get redstone, which you may need. Uh, you probably will need, but yeah. All right, so now here's the slime hill. These guys deal a little bit more damage. They're also, for some reason, laggy, and I can't kill them. Um, that's uh, actually... Whoa. Hello. All right, apparently we just had to right-click. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyways, this is where you get your emeralds in the very beginning. Uh, it's... Actually, the only place you can get emeralds, so good luck getting your emeralds here. Uh, they don't drop any armor from your luck, but they do deal a decent amount of damage, especially these larger slimes. Um, I'm still going to be able to one-shot them, though, because my sword's so good, but that's besides the point. I don't even have cubism on it, actually. Uh, Alright, so now to where you're actually going to come into use with the Undead Sword. It's like, I'm dealing 1900 damage uh, on that one crit to these zombies. Uh, now I'm doing 1100, I don't know, but anyways. Basically, you're gonna wanna be able to one-shot these because otherwise they're probably gonna kill you. They deal a lot of damage until you have a god set. Like, they deal only three yards of damage to me, which isn't that bad, but to y'all, it might be a one-shot. Actually, it probably will be. All right, and down in the obsidian mine, they deal even a little bit more. Let them hit me once, twice. See, I'm almost dead already. Um. So you definitely are going to want to be able to one-shot them with your sword. Anyways, we can go ahead and go back to the island now. And yeah. Oh, also, uh, before we go back to the island, uh, this is actually a really good place to get experience because you get a lot of XP for killing these guys, especially if you have experience on your sword. But you are going to have to uh, be able to survive, which is semi-difficult if... It's actually really difficult if you don't have a one-shot sword, so I wouldn't even advise coming here if you don't have a sword that can one-shot them. Alright, so we went ahead and mined a decent amount to get the XP required to combine this to our sword, so I can show you all that it actually works like this. So, you just get the book. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do it with a book, but you can. Is Oh god, don't kill me. Just try to, just try to anvil, bro! Just try to anvil. Okay, so you put your thing in the anvil. You got your luck five. You don't necessarily have to do it like this. You could do it with books, or you could do it with another undead sword, which I would suggest if you don't already have a lot of the enchants, because you're very likely to already have um, the enchants you're going to be getting. Uh, you're very likely to not have the enchants you're going to be getting in the beginning. So you could just buy another undead sword, enchant that one to level 60 instead of a book, and then you might get multiple enchants you need versus just one, in this case, the book most likely that you need. 
So then we just add the luck five on there for 25 experience levels and bam, we got now an 11 enchant sword. And really it could just keep going on and on like so. So really you could get an even better and better sword further and further into this game. Obviously, like you could honestly have a max sword right now. Just I haven't really focused on it because my sword already one shots everything. So really, what's the point in me getting a sword that does even more damage if I already one shot everything? I don't know. So yeah. Anyways, I hope this God Sword video helps y'all out a lot. Uh, it's definitely one of the things that I was a little more confused about when I first started out. So I thought this would help a lot of y'all out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. By the way, I'm going to be live streaming after this comes out. So if y'all wanna come check it out, I'm gonna be live probably for around six hours or so. So yeah, anyways. Hope to see y'all there. Peace, guys.